This episode is about me and my buddy replacing a rotten cell under the 1790s carriage barn at Crystal Spring Farm in Essex, New York. Holy cow, just look at this beautiful structure. To me, this untouched doorway is, I don't know, it's like an American painting or an American photograph. I just love it. We really did try to keep the original dirt, the original patina and character to this barn. It sits behind the, fa the original farmhouse along with a collection of other original 1790s barns, a horse barn, a granary, and a milk house. Without further ado, here are the clips of the fun and struggles of preserving it. Nice September day, September 23rd. We gotta get behind there to get a beam back in there to support it underneath there. It's just cabbed up, so we're taking the spatial board off. Yeah, what's we it called? Cat's paw. Cat's paw. We're gonna get into it a little bit, but we ain't gonna see that because it's gonna be a piece of a. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, I think that's free, Pete. Open, open. This nail, this that, that nail right there. That's the only one holding it in. Okay, and that's no. I'm much <laughs> that. Perfect. Now we get to see what the sill looks like. Oh, this just fell off somewhere. All right, we'll get that. Do we'll that right now. Uh, that damn nail. Got, that freaking stubborn nail is what caused it. Yeah, boy, it's beetle is. bug problems here. Huh? You're saying that's all good right uh, here. It's just rotten on the end, but I mean, there's enough good solid meat in that. Watch my fingers. But you know, the, the beam post is going up there. It's the tied on this one more yeah, so but, this. Yeah, but see, you see, because this when we replace this, we'll cut this, do our little lap joint down here. and We're jacking up that side of the carriage shed. And I'm going to walk over there and show you what's going on. I just went and got this heavy <clears throat> screw jack. We just shot it. Uh, the whole place, we're pretty level now, only an inch or so, but we got to get that beam replaced from there to there, because there's nothing holding that out. And then I just took out those stones that were right there. We're going to get closest to the corner stone as we can to jack up here. So I'm going to put this down here, and hopefully this fits underneath the beam, which it does. So that's going to lift it up there. And we're, There's another foundation stone. There's probably three feet of foundation stones down there. And we don't want to take those out because that's a cornerstone. So we're going to jack up there. And that's going to raise up this corner of the building. And then i got to get it level, of course. Like we said, we're going to build out to here and over the beam and down with a 4 by 8 by 8 here. And then we're going to pressure off that on the inside of that transom light without breaking it. <clears throat> kind of like what we did right here I don't know if you can follow what I'm uh, saying but beautiful day here there's the underneath of the carriage shed oh yeah that's it Pete's bringing a 4x4 four four to get it all oh you're not going over there like you said of oh, where and inside the door? Well, I'm sure here. So he's going to put a little weight here. And pressure it up this beam. I think I did a better job than him, but he probably wouldn't think so. Who's uh, screw jacks at? Yeah, is that your screw jack or mine? Mine. Blind men reading levels. Right. Well, he's doing my job now, all the fun. Jacking up, but it's good to have one guy to do uh, both jacks. So you know the weight that's on there by the feel when you're turning it. No! Oh! You got to make weight on it now, mister. I can hear it go up too. So. Yeah, we're off the stone. That's a good sign. So this this was uh had pressure on it, so this cornerstone here is off. Right? All right. You know, having a third, having another one. So this one's probably off too, right here, right? I bet you. Yeah, I saw it move. Did you again, do that again. For the TV world. Yep, I can see it move. Okay, yeah, that was not that way down most, huh? Oh right here. Oh, I'm sure that's gone. Oh maybe not. Oh yeah. yeah. They're all off. So we could take that beam out, you know, in a little bit. Move that stone beam out and put a new one in. And that's ship left. I need you to do this to be 
Cut the fucking thing right in half and peel it the fuck out of there. Cut it in half and what? Peel it out of there. So, I was getting my chainsaw. So I was going to put a new spark plug in it and do it before he got to it. Look how big that beam is, man. It was tendon. Right here. Look at oh, your ship No, right here. Where's the tendon? No, right here. This is it. That's a ship No, this is a ship left corner. Yeah. A true tendon would have a hole in the peg. Right, but it looked like it from that side for a second. You got to admit but, that. You know, plus it was tendon would go in the middle, and that's just ship lapping on the top of there the There is a hole there, though. Yeah. Think anything was ever driven in here? They don't look it to me. It's factory edge. Factory edge. There were no factories back then. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean that's, uh, that's, that's, that's it. Was put, as it was put down. There's my chalkway right. over there. I think we should leave this and keep the lap joint right here. Is there enough meat on that though? Well, the thing is, how are we going to take the meat off of that and support our corner post without really tearing up the floor and re-rigging inside? You know what I mean? Once once we cut this off, that corner post is going to drop like a rock. Cut that jack. Out. That jack is pushing this up, this is pushing the corner post up. The corner post is holding the whole half of this building. But that's enough meat to last for quite a... Oh yeah, well this is going to also come back into it. Yeah, I know that. You know, we're going to have a lap joint here, and this is also going to be supported right back here, right off the lap joint, so that's going to be a hard crush. You know, here's a mortise right here. Hey, that's, that's what it is. These are more, These are holding this mortise. See this mortise tongue going down in this groove in the beam? Yeah. There's a tongue right there. It's going the straight down. Beam. Yeah, the corner. Going straight down. straight down, and then and you this. got two pegs going like that through the tongue. And then this is lap jointed. And then that's yeah. So you're saying that stone ratted into that threshold beam. That much. Below yes. the threshold. Because see the bottom much. of the beam in front? Yeah. It rotted up into here. It rotted up into here even more. And by the time I got to the back side of the stone where it wasn't rotten, it was down that deep. Yeah. That's funky. We may have to pop this stone right out of here. I think I we're going to have to. figure we'd have to anyhow. So. Yeah. Oh, baby, let me see that. Let me show up that in the TV world. Yeah, right. Fucking skin fingers. Oh. Gotta love old houses. Ouch! Son of a bitch. That hurts. I'm sure Damn, it does. gonna be forever healing. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> and that's a guy who has a lot of scars on his hands. Yeah. TV land. Look at that. So you're just gonna try to muscle it out? You got all those uh, nails out from the studs coming down? Yeah. <clears throat> oh! There we go. They moved quite a bit. I'm gonna make my life easy. Pete's gonna make his life easy. Yeah. How you can do that, Pete? That is funny, isn't it? Oh boy. So we jacked it up there, and we, there's a jack yeah, over there. We did that too. Yeah, that you might think gets interesting. So we had a we had a really. You want to get us famous for what, Pete? Say hi. Hello. What, Pete? You ready? Yeah. No, we need to clean out the truck. <laughs> He's up to about 78. He knows he knows exactly how many. Two thirds capacity. Two. No, no, that's, that's probably about close. 50 right there. 78 is getting up to the bottom of the window. That's what pushed the back window up. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, look at that. Holy shit. Oh, baby. Yeah. That's the rat on one side. And the hands marks on the other side. We ran into a problem. There's a centered. Carrier, floor joist, floor joist, and some of that. 
Yeah, it looks like it's on something there. new in the middle. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a new one. Yeah, uh, Pete must have been here. So we can't get Damn. this part of the beam off because it's attached to that without putting another screw jack in there and lifting yeah. it up. See, see right. the way the weight of the floor is yeah. this beam in off the foundation too? Yeah. Oh. I got too old for this 50 years ago. I can't believe Pete, I'm Pete doing just it. worked about two and a half hours today. It's Friday, it's payday, so he's going home, right, Pete? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him look like he's limping. I'm gimped up from working. Huh? I'm gimped up from working. The whole they got here at 12 o'clock. Just in time for an hour lunch. Then he came back, I had a I had a beer, and then and then now, now it's three o'clock and it's Friday. He got to get paid and he's on his way home, right? Good day, folks. <laughs> Pete wants me to take this little weensy hydraulic clot and lift that up. That beam. Which goes all the way underneath my... Hopefully there's a good thing about doing it now. There's no snakes in here. Oh. So, subfloor looks in pretty good shape, really, considering 200 and some years old. So I did it. I put across the grain, got it level, put this down, and then you loosen it by this little thing. And then I put the steel plate, watch. It's going up. Oh yeah. See, it's releasing from the tendon there. It's actually easy to take it by hand, go like that, and get this in here. I should be getting out of here. I should be in here. Oh, Jesus. It went up a lot. All right, we're going to try to get this out. There's a tongue, so I got to be whacking it in this direction. Whack it off the tongue, go to speak. Okay. The bottom is so flooded in, we have to come up more, I think. How about take this out? Huh? Take this out. these stones because these all came out of right here. Okay. Whether you like it or not, we're going to be stuck here for a while. All right. Lock it and just hold up the end of that rafter. Just in case something happens to that jack, we're going to have something under there. We don't want the thing to fall and rip out all the nails and all the, all, the, all the floorboards, you know? So just stick that up if you have to jack it up a little to get where you got to get in there and get that supported. Now we're going to peel the stone, peel this back and Call just made me put blocking underneath there in case that one um, comes out because I didn't get that corner on that little piece of wood good enough. So, and so he made me release this jack and my shoulders were like this and this whole thing came down. Almost ruined my shoulders. That's a the poster's right there. The post didn't move at all. That's a 10 foot wall. Oh, it scared me. It scared me. My, I could have been trapped between that and that. But so now we got it tight. Uh, step into the building, we can all go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a break for it. Oh boy. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, Peter. You have to be out to the side because I got the support up here. So Pete's way in there. Set well, our... looks pretty straight right now, actually. I mean, it's, not, it's, not, it's right on the steel beam right now. Yeah. Breaking the law. So we grabbed this beam here today of our friend Steve Fletcher's place. He had a couple extra, and these are tough ones. Kind of tough to come by, 12 by 11 or 11 uh, by he's 10. He's been working on it all day, you know, cutting the tendon out, cutting the lap joint. Uh, he's been doing a pretty good job, except for when he's taking a nap.
<laughs> Sweet dreams, Yaglu. New one. He took this piece of <laughs> trim off because got to fit it underneath there. It's going to be a tight fit. I think we can do it. No problem. Me and him are going to carry this over. Be slicker than snot. Slicker than snot, his favorite saying. All right. The bottom of this beam is real good. And the beam is going to come down on the beam that we just cut. But this one, holy cow, look at that. Um, oh. that and the weight of this is going to come down on that. It's going to work. It's going to be hard bringing it over, though. That's piece of cake Pete says I think it's pretty heavy even though for um, well, you know. now I got a tongue in each side or a tongue on one side yeah it is oh oh sorry oh. Yeah, he's just cleaning it up a little bit uh, actually that's his bed he's gonna sleep there tonight Pete you sleeping there tonight yeah right funny I mean the woodchuck will keep me warm yeah Boy, I hope his leg that always bounces doesn't bounce that jack out and fall on top of him. Yeah, that's why I put the bottom up there, remember? Yeah. So we just carried it over. It wasn't too bad. Okay. Whew. I'm going to take the floor off of this son of a bitch. Ah, oh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Oh, I thought you said it was going to be easy. <laughs> okay, want to pull that 6 by 6 yep. out then? All right. Oh, just a little bit there. Fighting it there too, it looks like. A lot of muscling. We almost got it in. Pete's gonna try to get that tongue yeah. fit. That sucker's gonna clear. Looks like it's good. It's gotta go up here. I know, but we're on the tongue. I don't okay, know. Yeah, why don't you get a wrecking bar and hit it right here with a wrecking bar? Hit it where? Lift up the tongue with a J bar. Slam it a couple times. Oh, that'll work. It's up. It's level. It is as high as I got it. We'll move the crowbar back outside a little then. Yeah, I got oh. it right here. Excuse me. Oh! I'm just gonna leave us, you know, I don't wanna be tight. Yeah, right there. Okay. Try that, lift up. It's up. Oh! My fingers. Hey, look at that, all right. Oh, we did it. We can let that back down. Oh yeah. Girl, left. Left. Oh. Oh. That's for the TV laying there, that last one. Comes out here though when you do that. I bet you it's a tongue. Bet you anything it's the tongue. Can you reach into that jack handle? Yeah, that's what it is. Huh? Oh boy. I could probably <coughs> I could probably get it from underneath the beam that we just put in. <coughs> Why don't you uh oh. hmm. you want me to crawl in there? Right, that black bar? I can crawl in right here. I got it. Huh? I got it. <coughs> I think I <laughs> he wants me to crawl and yeah, I'll get it. I'll, I think I can get it from under here. Well, I can probably coach you and tell you if you're close or not. So we got to jack it up just a little bit so that tongue way up there, and we pound it can clear. There we go. Not quite, huh? I think you're maxed out. Oh no, there it goes a little bit. You got it though. If we can roll this beam a little, I don't know how much we're going to roll if we're going to run a stone up there in the center. I can't tell if it's going to go in or not, but... Not really here. See if we can lift up in the front of the, on the end of this beam right here. That will lift this end up, which will slow that end down, too. Okay. We're not missing by much. So if we can kind of... I'm putting this my fingers on the there. outside, because when he... And I got as much as I can. You get it? Tension on it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there it goes. I got to get rid of my fingers here. Look out! What do you say this is, Pete? Factory original? That's right. He says factory original. 
Good job. It was kind of really. You know, really, it wasn't that hard. I mean, there it is, the new beam. I'm gonna put all the racks back in. Hey, you wanna take a pry bar and just hold the other end in and they pound it? Yep. Here, I'll hold the other end in as you pound it. All right, he's done, I'm, I'm pounding. All right. All right, we got the golf swing working for us now. Oh, that went quite a bit. There we go. Huh? Keep it going. Okay. Hell yeah, man. Watch it, here we go. Nice. Yeah, come on down here. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm liking that. All right, ready? Oh, yeah, no, we still got two inches on your side. Hey, go all the way down the end. Oh yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You'll feel it hit. Oh, yeah. Well, if you could blow it out with a wimpy shot like that, can't be too much left. Then how's it holding? <laughs> the other half of that beam, your outside beam, horizontally. Your outside beam is holding up the post. But that lap joint's not sitting on a whole lot. No, it's not, but it's sitting on enough. So, plus it sits. All right, well, hey. Should we, should we cut out of something and put it right here? Yeah, well, of course. So, Not a square straight beam. So this is going to... Uh, yeah, I, keep, yeah. Behind that, keep behind that 4x4. Four four, just start spinning it, you know. Tap tap it with a hammer. Tap it. Well, then help me out there. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to go use this to help myself out. Tight, okay, so you're tightening it. Yeah. But no, I'm helping out that jack. Okay. We're going to get it up. <coughs> so we can get seven eighths. Get it up seven eighths get, underneath this little spot here. Get this beam here level, Willie. Really. Let me know when that beam's level. Okay. I don't want to let this jack down. That four by four still. Uh, I say it's pretty plumb. We can be level. I call it plumb. He calls it level. I'm so wrong. All right, now this one Good? Yeah. We let this, let the weight back down in that sill, and we'll level up this building starting from here. We'll chase it right around. This Was this one over here? Do you up. think this got loose? No. I, I checked, I'm checking that. Yeah. Take, pretty much, we can take the jacks out today. Pete's shimming some stuff underneath there so we get one rack in there. Those are cedar shims there so they don't rot. Love his technique. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that. I might have now, but a year ago I wouldn't have. So I'm just going to leave everything to where this is. Right wow, now. that came down a lot. Yeah, how much? Not a lot. Eighth of an inch. <laughs> Eighth of an inch I can live with. Well, I just have to level, just work our way around this and level this place up. That way we're done. Okay. It's level. We still have to deal with the stones under the post, you know? Yeah. But it's level. Jack and part of this is over. A couple jacks we have to leave until we get, you know, support under here. I gotta move all those stone back. Those are stone, not rocks. Rocks you throw. Right. Stones you do build foundations with. <laughs> <clears throat> Learn that. That's in first grade. It's out? Yeah. So it didn't drop at all, did it? Well, it dropped it in the pocket. I mean, we, we pounded that pocket in because we barely had the room. That's true. So that wasn't loose at all. We knew that. Get the star going. So we cut that because we're going to put a stone there and we're going to let the tension down on that and take care of that one. And this whole place is kind of done. 
I mean, we got some cosmetics. All right, the dishes are almost done, Pete says. Did this little uh, foundation here. We're taking both out right now. And there's going to be a lot of weight on this thing. Coming down. Stones are going to start popping like popcorn. Stones are going to start popping like popcorn. Uh, here we go. Oh, we can hear that. Oh, she's coming down. Oh, yeah. She's free. All right. All set the dishes done, Pete? The dishes are done, brother. All right. Like they say in the West Coast. I got to do a little mortar and then they're really okay. done. Today.